Hi, I'm Chef Amy Hoagie and I'm here to teach you how to play with food. We take a classic recipe, change it up a little bit, create a whole new dish. And today I'm playing with pancakes. And instead of using the typical baking powder that you use in a, bang, in a pancake, we're going to use baking soda. So here I've got a mixture that I put together already. It's a cup of flour, two tablespoons of regular sugar, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm just going to put that right in here kind of pre-mixed it a little bit, make it quick. And then I'm going to take about a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Now the difference between baking soda and baking powder, you might not know this, is that baking powder actually has cream of tartar and um, sodium bicarbonate, which is baking soda, in it together. And it has to react with an acid like a buttermilk, yogurt, um, even honey. I didn't realize honey was acidic, but it is. And so, um, so when you just use a baking soda, it's just straight sodium bicarbonate. doesn't need an acid to, um, to work, but you can use it in exchange for baking powder in this situation. I'm not sure what the cream of tartar does. It may make it like smoother, kind of, um, yeah, smoother texture. So anyway, I put that in there. Now we've got our liquids. I've got a cup of buttermilk, which when making pancakes, I always use buttermilk. It's got the good stuff in it. Makes it nice and fluffy. And I've got one egg. So what we're just going to do is we're going to mix this up here. I am just going to turn and scrape, turn and scrape. Mm -mm. And I've got my pan preheated, I'm going to preheat, crank it up a little bit, to 350. My little griddle here. And then um, you don't want to overmix the pancakes because you want them kind of thick, little fluffiness in there. You want them sort of lumpy. That's key to a really good pancake. I know it sounds crazy, but it is the truth. There we go. I always kind of have to make sure you get it on the bottom. Flip your, kind of lean your bowl over. Okay, I think that's good. Got to back away. Don't mix any more. There's even some bubbles in there. If you can see them, that's reacting to the um, baking soda too and all that. And I'm going to go ahead and take my cupcake batter or um, my pancake scoop for today. And I'm just going to go ahead and pour it into my pan. You can make them as small as you want. There we go. As big as you want. Uh, too, not too big because then they don't cook very well. And try to flip them with a small spatula and that's always fun. And this is a single, or I'm sorry, a two person mix right here. So it makes about six to eight pancakes. I kind of spread them out a little bit as I'm scooping. Ooh, there we go. All right, now what this is going to take, I might add a little bit more to that one. This is going to take about two to three minutes to cook on each side. Then we'll come back and I'll show you what they look like. Mm, these are looking perfect. I think we're finished. I'm going to go ahead and plate these. These are our pancakes with baking soda instead of baking powder. I'm Chef Amy Hoagie. Thanks for joining me. For more information, you can visit me at my website at Chef Amy. That's with two E's.com.